what is up YouTube MacDar here finally got the Junkrat gameplay uh, that I was looking for honestly I didn't record this while I was playing it but I did decide on a good gameplay for the hero that really represents what he is capable of doing and so I'm just gonna go over the replay here uh, I will say that this play style is very very annoying and while you know some people might not like it uh, I do believe that it is the way that he is supposed to be played um, or the best way that he has played for me in my opinion um, but essentially what we will be doing with this build my first impressions video just came out yesterday this game the build that I go is gonna be completely different from that and the way that I play it is completely different from that. So, uh, but essentially what this kind of build is meant to do is make false, uh, make, sorry, Junkrat play a lot like Falstad, where with Falstad you're kind of soaking lanes, you know, you can play aggressively far, far up into the enemy because if they show up to gank you, you usually get away. And that's kind of how I played Junkrat uh, with this build so uh, I'll talk about some talents uh, at the start you can see here you can just kind of get free damage on the walls uh, level one I take the the frag launcher travel distance is increased and I actually like this talent a lot because it allows you to a safely poke so like I could shoot grenades from here and they would hit the wall but it also allows you to you know when you're shooting somewhere maybe over here and you're shooting this way then it will start bouncing um, bounce 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 and you have a good chance of hitting people a lot of time even when you know they're not people there necessarily so um, you can see with when I'm wave clearing or when I'm sieging uh, that I like to shoot an auto attack and then a grenade it's kind of difficult to see that this is the auto animation and you'll see here the grenade animation kind of shoots more at the ground and a lot of the time when I'm damaging on him, and something that you should try to do as well, uh, is damage, shoot an auto because it splashes, and then shoot a grenade. You can see like that. And if you do that properly, you can wave clear really fast as you can see. So, he actually has decent wave clear. The other thing that I like to do in the early stages of the game, and even into the later stages, and I get really chunked out by this Zul'jin here, um, is I like to prep one of my c4s as an escape and the reason for that is the second you throw it on the ground it starts to go on cooldown so if you prep one and let's say the enemy team shows up you can blow it up blow yourself away and then it'll be back and you'll be able to use it again so you know you could possibly you know use your w twice to escape which might help you get away if you prep the w before hand instead of just oh the, the enemy team's coming i'm definitely going to throw my c4 here now and i'm blowing up and i'm running away right so that's another little tip in the early stages especially um to kind of have that c4 prepped and you'll see it a lot here um like here we go again i have one prepped so if somebody were to show up to stop me from pushing, then I could use this to escape. But you can see I'm just constantly putting on barrage and pressure onto the enemy's minions. And as he shows up, I blow up and run away. At level four, I'm taking taste for explosion. Uh, I feel like this talent really scales nicely and it makes his grenades feel like they actually do something. So. In the early stages, while they do do damage, um, the more you hit the enemy with that talent, like in the later stages of the game, when you start connecting with their nades, it feels really powerful. Um, and you honestly, you know, can put someone at 50% of their health just by hitting all of your grenades. So I, I really, really like it for that reason. Um, while bef prior to this, uh, in my first impressions video, I talked about the W talent being overpowered. While I still think it is really strong because it knocks back extra, uh, I've kind of moved to a style where I never really use my C4 to aggressively move towards the, the enemy. Instead, 
uh, you know, to aggressively, I guess, knock them towards me. Instead, I've changed my playstyle to where if I need to get to the enemy, I will just knock myself towards them instead of knocking them towards me, right? And then there are certain cases where you can still use it aggressively. Maybe you have an ETC who slides and then you can C4 behind them and knock them into your team. So, as you can see here, I did it with Zul'jin. I shouldn't have knocked the Ana. Um, I ended up missing that kill for my Zeratul, but uh, yeah, you can see there, uh, you can you can use it kind of as a aggressive thing every once in a while, So, but for the most part, you will see me using it defensively to save myself whenever I feel like I'm in danger. So now the enemy team has sent down three people, and if we take a look at our level seven, while we are reloading we get movement speed and i think this is even better to his kite play style as you can see now i have the movement speed um and what this does is this kind of allows us to play aggressive and get in some auto attacks on the enemy when we are out of grenades it also allows us to kite even more effectively and yeah it's basically impossible for the enemy to actually deal damage to us you can see here i mean i'm poking ever so slowly but at no point am i really at risk here is finally an aggressive c4 end up knocking anna back into the zeratul and then pick up a kill so again it is possible to aggressively c4 it's just all about making sure you know if you do use it then if you get caught out, you know, you don't have an escape. And this character it just so happens to be really, really, really squishy, which everyone talks about um, how squishy he is. And it's it's true. But because of his squishiness, he's given a ton of mobility. And he's given his rocket talent at level 10, which allows him to, you know, suicide and come back to life. So at any point in time, if you feel like you're getting chunked out or you feel like you're going to die, you just hit your ultimate and... Wow, that guy threw a bio grenade. Um, you hit your ultimate and blow yourself up and then come back full health. Um, the other thing is I really like putting traps in fog because the enemy team can't see this. But if this guy were to walk into this, um, like click down here, the and he was coming from here, the just auto pathing would make him walk into that trap. So I, I like that trap spot for that reason. Here you go, you see me use this C4 to aggressively blink in and... Um, while I didn't really need to, I then just opt to use it to get some siege damage down because I've already used it. But um, the way I kind of am using Rocket Ride is I am, you know, getting the enemy team weak enough that if I ult, I'll get the kill, right? But other than that, I'm staying very safe and I'm just poking, as you can see here. Uh, I'm shooting this minion wave from almost across the map. Not actually across the map, but I mean, there's absolutely no way in a million years that they can get damage on me from where I'm at. Even like, I would say that the best character against Junkrat right now would be like Zeratul, and Zeratul's just bad overall. And he's not even that good because it is possible for you to just rocket ride, and Zeratul has no way to stop that cast animation. I guess you could VP it. I don't know, maybe Zeratul's the answer, but he is he is very, very good. <laughs> um, here you can see like the enemy team is not pushing into me, so I am just gonna siege their minion wave. And again, when I brought up Falstad, that's kind of what this guy reminds me of, because you just proxy waves. You play aggressive uh, in your positioning, and then you use your cooldowns when you feel at threat. But if you don't feel at threat, in this case, I see five people mid. There's absolutely no reason for me to not push and siege, right? Because I have the ability to, just like false have with Boomerang, I have the ability to just kind of knock out these waves really fast, as you can see here. And then I have a full wave, because I'm proxying these waves, um, coming in to siege with. Um, I set up a little trap there again. This is kind of one of those pathing things. So if someone were to click from middle to bot, they would run sort of a path like this and hit that trap. And 
And at level 13 is my absolute favorite part of playing Junkrat. And, uh, you know, at the start of the day, I wasn't taking this talent and I wasn't having as much fun. But once you get 13, this guy gets insanely, insanely fun to play. Um, you can see here it's the Ripper Air talent. This increases the knockback of your W, and if you just hit yourself, it goes on a two-second cooldown. So at the point, at this point in the game, if you have this talent, you really no longer need to mount. Um, so mounting at this point in the game is actually slower than just throwing mines and blowing them up over and over again. Another tip about the mines is the closer you are to the center, the more up you'll get blown away. So if you're really close, you kind of will knock up and you'll fly and you'll land like here. And you'll see here, I am essentially max range of this circle. You can see the line kind of here. So I'm just barely on the outside of the circle. And because of that, you literally fly across the map. Um, it's like further than Genji uh it's like further than genji e distance and in the reality of it is you do not have mana on this character so there's absolutely no reason for you not to do exactly what i'm doing right now which is where you just randomly jump around um the enemy the only thing you gotta be careful of is doing what i just did there where i blew up before i was on top of it and you, you got to get the hang of it a little bit when you're reloading you get the bonus move speed so you move a little bit faster like that but if you ever feel uh like you're going to die at all or if you feel like you're in a bad position you can just rocket ride and reset and you'll come right back so here we come again it's a it's a very very uh, interesting play style but again i think with the w talent it's uh it's a lot of fun so here here's where you're gonna really start to see uh the wave clear of this guy like at this point i hadn't really explored this sort of rotation uh like this aggressive rotation and i realized at this point that you know if you play the hero this way with this 13 talent you can do exactly what i'm doing and that is just basically double soak over and over just like false ad would um but without the other team being able to do anything about it i mean there, there's just no way that i can die i mean obviously rocket rides down so it is possible for me to die right now but you know let's see like this joanna she's gonna get on me right i can just blow up run away come back i see i have a little c4 set here in case there's a joanna here um if there's not who cares and then i'm just gonna go from middle to top and just wave clear with my grenades because this character does have really good wave clear and then when you think that the enemy team's coming you just grenade yourself away Or, cock, or whatever c4 i guess is the what what it's called concussion mine i'm just gonna call it a c4 because it kind of reminds me of one but and remember too like when you're reloading you do move faster right um at 13 i took burst fire and i still think that i like burst fire the most out of the three but I was trying out the spread shot and the spread shot actually is decent in the later part of the game but i feel like the rapid fire lets you wave clear better because you can do that right there and you just kind of immediately if you shoot your grenade into the middle of the wave you just kind of immediately clear out the entire wave um instead of you know spamming one at a time right so here you'll start to see um, you know, I, I can play really aggressive here. There's nothing that's scaring me away from not sieging. And I figure out right now that I can see four from here to mid. <laughs> and then I can clear mid out. And I put a C4 down there. 
<laughs> and then I see four back down bottom. <laughs> and then I start wave clearing bottom. <laughs> so you're yeah, at this point, I mean you're just jumping around the enemy. Uh, you know, if I wanted to right now I could see four my way up to top. And if someone does come, then I just C4 away. So this could be a really good map for this character because his ability to do this. But again, you know, heroes like Illidan, uh, Zeratul, uh, Genji, not so much, I don't think. Uh, but even then, all of these heroes aren't, aren't, aren't capable of killing him if he has Rocket ride up, right? Because none of them have CC. So if they were to dive him, um, you could just rocket ride. And obviously at level 20, we have the 30 second rocket ride, which is stupid. But you can see here, like, um, yeah, the other team's never really going to be able to kill me uh, unless I misplay. So it's kind of in the your own hands whether or not you die because as long as you keep your space and you're safe about it like in all honesty you really don't even have to show on the minion wave in order to siege um, because you can just throw max range grenades uh, from a safe distance and, and get it that way I think here I'm thinking about using my ult to kill this keep and I think that's fine for the siege damage honestly uh, to use your ult to get keeps Because so far I really haven't used it But I think of it a lot more as like a defensive uh, Ultimate yeah, I choose to ult finish the kill here So really you're just sieging a lot. I, th I honestly think they're gonna nerf these grenades um, when you blow up to buildings because You'll see at level 20 when we get CDR um, just the way I start playing the game is is quite frankly disgusting. It's but it is a play style that is in the game, right? So I'm not wrong for doing it. It's just every time new people on stream, especially, have watched this happen, they just say, "Is this real life?" And it's like, sadly, it is real life. Yes. But more or less just wave clearing and blowing myself up from mid to top over and over. Oh, I panicked here. I panicked here so hard. Like, I could have kept running that way because I got a speed boost. Instead, I just like full panic, miss my C4, run through the Probius Null Gate. <laughs> Just a bad play, but again, I think that was my own error, not like the character getting caught out. And then I'm poking, I'm poking at Nero because uh, it, it was totally my fault. But Nero before with Skolex said, "You need to trust your healer," and so jokingly, uh, I said, "This is why I don't trust my healer." Um, yeah, so you'll see, you'll see here now the level 20 talent and kind of the play style behind it. Let's speed up. So now at this point in the game, really, you just need to ult over and over. And that's why it's sad. Because while this looks cheesy and cheeky, it's actually just so powerful and it's almost unstoppable. Um, the other team has to play like a full five man turtle. And because you can see them and then see for yourself a distance where they can't do anything to you and then ult. Um, you know, like here we go. We have this guy, uh, this junk rat, right? Like I can jump right here. Oh, because I knew none of them were there, and then I can walk the ult in. And obviously, I'm going to respawn now. 
And the point of this character, I think, in the later stages of the game, especially, is just to make sure that the enemy team is always stuck in their base. So you'll see here, I'll clear out me. I'll clear out mid. I want to get top going into the top catas. And just gonna blow up bottom again. So I'm not only pressuring in top and mid, I am pressuring in bottom. Or I'm threatening the bottom keep. So the in the enemy team, I mean at this point is just on full turtle mode, right? But I'm actually you, you, you just create so much pressure on this character. I think it's like beyond like Falstad. But again, Falstad has the same problem that this guy would have in the sense that like he's bad against the Zeratul and the Illidan and the Genji, right? But the reality of it is um, you know, in this case, you can at least use your ultimate to live, right? Um, whereas a lot of times with Falstad, if you have a dive here on you, you know, you have to gust or fly away or something, and then even then, sometimes you can get outplayed. I mean, there's, there's obviously moves you do to not get outplayed, but... Yeah, I overall think that the guy is, is, is really, really, really strong. Um, and I've had games where I do actually get my grenades stacked up um, and I do actually get damage in on the enemy team uh, and like kind of affect a team fight. But at the same time, I'm still applying pressure on the map using the 13 talent. Um, I think the only thing that I would change about this build is instead of burst fire sometimes spread shot is okay on maps with like really really good chokes like infernal shrines tomb of the spider queen even boe right where you can get behind the enemy and just blast like 12 grenades at them right and i think in that case the uh spread shot or whatever i can't think of the name of it the one that shoots three grenades can actually be really powerful because you're then just like flinging stuff at the enemy team right so really everything else though I would say is is pretty standard for this build um, and taste for explosion you know in the early game you should just be spamming grenades anyways like I don't think there should ever be a moment where you're off grenade cooldown um, but as long as you are you're gonna get stacks and if you get this all the way stacked up then I promise these cues will feel like they deal damage uh, but that's it for my junk rack gameplay uh, again you know this Playstyle is not the most fun to play against, but I actually think it is so fun to play because you're, you're just applying pressure constantly to the enemy team. Um, you're poking, you're poking, you're jumping around, and all of that together uh, actually a much more enjoyable than the defensive build that I was trying out yesterday in my first impressions where you know I was assuming that I was going to be knocking people into traps and and all that uh, jazz, right? It's a, it's a lot more meme -y, I would say. Like, the triple trap build with the chittering traps, a lot of the people just walk around them, and you can do that, you know? So why, why do that when you can really pressure people with your Q, um, wave clear faster, and, and move around the map quicker, right? Uh, just to me, once I found this build and this playstyle, it, it all made sense with the character and, and honestly this is the build that i think is the best at the moment so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this game's play um again use it try it out test it uh i would say quick tips before i head out of here with ripper air you can just alt w which is self cast and that'll drop the mine right below you and then you can just blow it up with your D from there. So you don't have to, you know, if you're shooting somebody over here, uh, you don't have to come back to yourself, click the ground, blow it up, and then hit the person over here. Instead, you can hit the person over here, right? Self cast, Alt W, and then D, and your mouse is still over here and you're still shooting them, right? So that's just a little tip. Uh, and then uh, obviously, you, everything else you kind of got to see in the gameplay the other thing is uh with my level one talent just to put a little more emphasis on this the reason i like this one more is that uh the other one you know makes the bomb last longer but it slows down eventually this one you know if i shot a grenade over here it might bounce here bounce here bounce here bounce here you know just all sorts of bouncing happening and within that time period sometimes you'll shoot at somebody they'll dodge it right but the grenade keeps bouncing so let's say i shoot at somebody right here 
and I miss. And instead of just stopping, it'll bounce off this wall and bounce back into them. So sometimes you just get grenade hits when you're not even aiming at people. And for that reason, I do like this build, uh, that talent more, right? With this build, because sometimes you just shoot past people and it's okay because it'll bounce back or yeah, especially in chokes and stuff like that. Um, the other last tip is a lot of time with my grenades, I don't actually shoot at the people in team fight, especially with minion waves. I do because I want to like shoot the middle minion and then blow up all the minions, right? But in team fights, a lot of the time, you know, let's say if there's somebody standing on this triangle, um, I'll just aim my Q here and let the grenades start bouncing towards them instead of shooting uh, my grenade at them, like putting my Q here and shooting because sometimes people step towards you and you'll just shoot over top of them. But if you just shoot at the ground in front of you, you're covering the entire distance, right? Of the exact same line that you would get if you shot here. The only thing is that it'll move maybe a little bit quicker, a little bit. And by that, I mean literally the tiniest bit quicker to this spot. The only time I would do like a full aim is if, you know, maybe someone walks on your trap or ETC slides or something and you can guarantee you connect. Otherwise, I like shooting them kind of in front of me and just letting them bounce and shooting them towards the enemy. So, but that is that for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to throw a like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always check out all of my other content on heroeshearth.com. It's a very quick, easy sign up and, and it's a great community with tons of content. Um, always check me out on Twitch and Twitter. Those will also be located in the description below. Um, but that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, I will see you guys then. Cheers, guys.